I'm back with Marie Osmond and Mark Paul Gosselaar. Our <laughs> show is The Passage, premiering January 14th at 9 on Fox. Behind the bar, it's Warren and Hadija from King Kong, now playing at the Broadway Theater. Has the King Kong malfunctioned ever? <laughs> All right. Uh, Marie, I'm so excited. You actually have a baby. I do. <laughs> So, so it's you know, you know Marilyn, the bling lady, you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I, I got her to do something for oh you. Oh my God, you're kidding. We have a Snoopy your bling back and, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. First of all, these are two things that I love. <laughs> this is a blinged out Snoopy, and a blinged out <laughs> Cardinals. Oh. This is really. Oh God. Amazing. Oh this kid is so lucky. <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you something. You think I could fit into this? <laughs> this is amazing, Marie. I love oh, that. Oh, you're so sweet. That was so oh, awesome. So How did you know I love the Cardinals? I know. And I watch you. I'm wow. not. I'm not stupid. Oh <laughs> I know. I mean, wow. No. Thank you. That's you are, very you sweet. You are so, so, so happy for you. Marie, you have eight kids. Mark Paul, you have four kids. What is one piece of parenting advice that you would both like to share? Sleep with when they sleep. Sleep when they sleep. I have a <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Uh, let's go to Doug from Illinois. Hey, Doug, what's your question? Hi. I just wanted to say, Andy, I love you so much. Thank you. I do. Thanks. And thank you. And thank you for that uh, Joy McIntyre comment. I remember that about him. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's good to know. It's always good to know. I just wanted to say uh, to Marie, I love you so much as well. And I had the Donny Osmond doll when I was a kid, and my cousin had the Marie doll. Well, guess what? Oh, They're right I behind did. Marie. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. You know that those oh are on God. our set. So, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that cracks me up. Yeah. So trivia. I, I was the, f I, my favorite, so I've had a lot of fun awards, you know? Yeah. <laughs> my favorite is I am the first celebrity Barbie doll. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We were born the same year, Barbie and myself. Right. And she's aging better and it ticks me off. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> Thank you. Did you have a question in there or did you just want to say that? No, I just wanted to say that, and she left She left her doll at my house. We were playing, and you know I played with that Marie Osmond doll, honey. Yes. She didn't even have the shoes. No shoes that okay. I played with her. She was wonderful. I love it. That's Thank great. you. I'm glad you're happy. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> let's go to Karen from Pennsylvania. Hey, Karen, what's your oh, question? <laughs> just said. Hi. Um, I am fangirling. So hard right now because I have been a super fan of Mark Paul Gosselaar's forever, and I think I've followed pretty much everything he's done. Thank you. Um, I'm right here. My question is that I remember in I want to say it was like '96 or '97, there was a rumor that you died while you were racing cars, um, and I'm curious how did you react when you heard that rumor, and if I you have any that. idea how it came about. No, I think after the show, there was rumors every year that I died. There was a there was a nasty really? there was a nasty rumor that Dustin Diamond and I were riding a motorcycle. I don't know who was on the front and who was on the back, but that we were together on a bike and we died. So that wow. would have been an interesting death, yeah, dying yes. together with Dustin. But every year there was like another death. Wow! Uh, and you don't you, you didn't have social media back then, so right. it's not like you could clear it up. Yeah, right, you know, with, yeah. A, with a tweet. So yeah. you kind of like lived with it for a while, and people would see you. And they go like, oh, you're, you're alive. Not dead. Yeah. yeah. You're not dead. Let's go to Kathy from Oklahoma. Hey, Kathy, what's your question? Yes, I was wanting to talk to Marie. Okay. Uh -huh. And I was I was wanting to ask her. Um, been a fan for 37 years. Oh, but you. um I was, you're welcome, sweetheart. Um, <laughs> I was wanting to know how I was wanting to know when is your last show that you and Donnie are gonna perform in uh, Vegas before you go off of doing the entertainment type thing of it? Um, you know, uh, it. we say it's every year, and then we, we do another year. We're, we're kind of thinking this year. It's This is a, you know, we decide 10 years, and then you turn it to 11. And right. so uh, th we're just thinking maybe this year, but I don't know. You know, Donnie's getting old. and. <laughs> 
I don't. I, I, did, I'm having. It's really I, fun. It I really read is that Donnie thing. told the Las Vegas news station that this is your last Donnie year. Donnie has said this many years. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, we are thinking this year. Are you two? We were supposed to be there six weeks. Right. Yeah. Are you two wow. usually in sync about your decisions relating to what you want to do and oh, tours yeah. and stuff like yeah, that? I mean, we didn't work together for like 30 years. You know, I was you doing, didn't. I had country hits. And, right, right. You know, and we did Broadway, different things. And was that weird coming back together when well, you did come it, back? It really was. We kind of looked at each other and went, wow, you're older. Right. And uh, But we thought six weeks, you know, we could handle that. Right. And here it is, uh, we're 11 years now we're moving wow. into that. So, but it, it, it's fun, and people come from all over the world, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's what I loved about the show is, first of all, your voices are great, uh, and you two are just great, but Thank there's you. no irony about it. It's just a fun, entertaining show, and it's like, it is just kind of very pure. Which I really oh, like. It, it is. It is. It's an interesting room. There's lots of rooms in Vegas, but it's one of the old school uh, rooms. Right. Where you're in the booze and you're really close. And when you have that kind of a room, you do a different kind of a show. Yeah. Yeah. Where, instead of having a stage with you know forty thousand dancers on it. Yeah. And everything. Let's but, go yeah, to Bridget from North Carolina. Hey, Bridget. What's your question? Hey, Andy. I am so excited to talk to you guys. I, you have no idea. I wish you and Anderson would come to Ashton, North Carolina. That's where his family's from. Mark, I have a question. As far as Saved by the Bell goes, what is your most favorite episode and what is your least favorite episode? Oh. Uh, you know, I, when I watch the episodes, uh, it's it's like a new experience for me. So I, I don't really you don't have, remember, I don't remember. Right. I wasn't sentimental. I yeah. didn't take anything from the set. Did your kids watch it? Uh, my 14 and 12 year old are watching it. They're kind of like, they're, you know, right. they're unimpressed, but they're unimpressed about everything. <laughs> Given like, the uh, amount of, um, but I, I'm I'm really surprised we did episodes where I played a Native American Indian. Wow. I'm yeah. kind of a, I'm like, yes. how did we get away with that? Right, right. No it's, social it's, media. It's, yes. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we yeah. would have. Yeah, yeah that. you um, did a lot of things then that you, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But we're gonna. Um, I was going to say, given the amount that that show has been rerun and repurposed and all that, did you guys, did the actors, do you get any kind of residuals? Do you, who's making money off the show is what mm, I want to know. We're not. You're not. No, no, no. I mean, uh, you were talking about yachts. You know, I bought my yachts with the residuals and stuff like that. No. No. Um, no, we're, we're, we we made really bad deals, poor wow. deals back then. That was so. television back then. Right. Yeah. I mean, and who would have known? And it wasn't who the and children no. especially. And it's, you know, it, just I don't think right. that kind of stuff. So yeah, right. it's just it, it is what it is. And you know, you move on, you learn. Great experience. Great experience. Right. But, right. Yeah. And here we are still talking about it. So I guess that you you have a great attitude about it. Some people don't we love to. to. I have to tell you seriously, we just met. I am so impressed with him. You know, I mean, I was a child celebrity. You grew up with other child celebrities, and some of them make it, and some of them don't. The transition's difficult. He's awesome. He is awesome. Yes. But the other yeah. thing about him is, and I, this is what I was blown away by on NYPD Blue, he's such a good actor. Right? He is. Um, and you know, I was I was thinking about this. He started performing at five, and I was three. What were you doing at five? Uh -huh. I'm picking my nose. <laughs> I mean, you know what I was doing? Playing with my Donnie and Marie dolls. <laughs> That's what I was doing. I'm just teasing. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, it's great to see both of you. Always great to see both of you. Thank you for coming. Love you so much. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to see you uh, soon. And the passage premieres January 14th at 9 on Fox. And I can't wait to see King Kong. It was so great to see you both. For more, click on BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.